Hello, my name is Michaela. Today I'm going to show you how to synchronize your flight records from the DJI GO app. I'm going to be doing it on the DJI GO 4 app. Okay, so once you're on this page, you'll see the three stacked up lines on the top right hand corner. I'm going to tap on that and you will see this symbol where it says flight records. It'll show like a paper airplane with an arc above it. Um, if you're doing it on the DJI GO application, it will be the same. Just locate that on the top left hand corner. So just tap on that to get to the flight records. Here it'll tell you the growth value. It ranks you by levels. And underneath that you'll see total flight time, total distance time, and total flight. But to access where your flight records are, it's going to be that cloud on the top right hand corner. So once you tap on that cloud, it brings you to here, sync your flight records. So you have the option of syncing one month, six months, or all. I'm gonna leave it to one month, but I'm going to make sure the upload flight data box is checked, and I'll go ahead and start synchronizing. Nice, now it is complete synchronizing. So you can also have the option to clear local flight records, which is what you just synced or leave it. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap complete. Okay, now that we are done synchronizing our flight records, what we're gonna do is go ahead and locate that. So right now I have my iPhone connected to my laptop. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up iTunes. Once you're on this page, you are going to click on the icon up here, whatever it is, you might have an iPad. I have my iPhone connected, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. Once I am here, I'm gonna go to settings and go all the way down to file sharing. This allows you to get files that you had downloaded and drop it into your desktop or wherever you wanna drop it into. Once I am here in the file sharing page, I'm gonna go ahead and locate. So I got mine from the DJI Go. Same thing will be for the DJI GO 4. I'll show you for example. Here it will give you the flight records, flight logs. I'm gonna grab that and copy it onto my desktop. Okay, let me show you how it looks like when it's copied. It's in text file. It doesn't really do much because it is just in text file. So kind of to show you what that looks like is it looks like this. Doesn't help much, doesn't give me much information of my flight record history. So what I'm gonna do is open it up into a website called Air Data UAV and look at what they have right here. Fly with confidence. Yes, we do wanna fly with confidence. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap login. If you don't have an account, that's totally fine. You can register for a free account. That's what I'm using, I have a free account. Okay, so once I am in, you can tell it already has one of my uh, flights that I have uploaded. What you would do is you would select upload. You can drag or select files. I'm gonna go ahead and drag mine in. I will go ahead and do this one. So let's drag it on. You can upload up till 10 at a time. So right here under select pilot, you can have multiple pilots so they could all dump in their flight records onto here, but we'll go ahead and select myself because it's just me and I'll upload that flight. Okay, once it is done being uploaded, it will bring me to this page and overview will give you the list of all your flights. And as you can tell under the overview page, it will give me the date and the time that I flew the aircraft. So I have my plane's name, Discover, that is what my drone's name is, and flight air time was 11 minutes. Notice right here, this is Google Maps, and it's showing me a KML, the path the drone was taking, as you'll notice the landing battery, what it was at, all that information. Total mileage right here, maximum distance. I mean, it's very detailed on everything your drone with. So your flight records will give you all information associated with your drone. As I head to details, it will give me the address that this was taken at, what battery, 
drone, like I said, named Pilot Command was me. Last known location will give me the latitude and longitude. If you head over to notifications, this will give me the percentage of the point the drone was at. So as you can tell over here, the drone was at 78%. And you could select a larger map to get a larger overview of the Google map. But yeah, this is basically how to analyze your data. Like I said, I'm using Air Data UAV. You can use Skyward or Kitty Hawk, which is an application that you could carry on your phone. But thank you for watching and like I said, this is how to access your flight records and actually be able to analyze them. So thank you for watching and bye.